So Dave, it's time for the Taco Marine new products here at the Yak Gear Workbench. Dave, we've got some pretty line here. What do you got? We got some really nice line there. That's the Berkeley uh, Pro Spec Chrome, Pro and Spec it's Chrome. and it's brand new. Just came out uh, a couple weeks ago in September, and uh, it's optimized for trolling, deep dropping, that sort of stuff. It's really soft. It's an eight carrier premium braid. Right. So it's you know it's. It's not the cheap stuff. It's good, good braid, and uh, comes in you know different colors. A multicolor for you know when you're deep dropping and whatnot. Yeah. So you can a metered line. A metered line. Uh -huh. Blaze orange, high vis yellow, ocean blue, and white. And that you know high vis yellow and and blaze orange are great when you're trolling. If you want to troll with braid because you can see the line and you can turn, make your turns without running over the line. When a fish gets on, you know, you're tracking the line through the water, the captain can see the line, which is very important, you know, if you're going to be trolling to use high vis line, whether it's mono or braid. Correct. So go use that. It comes in 20, 30, 50, 65, 80, 100, and 130 pound tests. I love it. So that. just about everything that you want to use, you know, uh, braided line for. You've, they've got the size for you. It comes on those 3,000 yard spools. Lovely. So go to Berkeley Fishing and get you some of that. All right. Next, we've got Savage Gear. These are the, the Manic Weedless Shrimp, the version two. It's designed, you know, with an ultra realistic body, contours, colors, and movements. I mean, it, that thing looks like a real little shrimp when it's in the water. Uh, it's the ultimate shrimp presentation with an exposed hook on the top. Um, yet it can still be weedless. You know, if you push that push that top down with your hand, you can you can get a feel of that hook. It's right yeah, there. It is. You right can there. tie it on directly or use it under a popping cork like you would a, a live shrimp. Uh, comes in six different colors, uh, three inch or three and a half inches as well, and then mm -hmm. the, and the sizes are a quarter ounce and three eighths ounce. You know, you can work it fast or slow. Um, and that's got a really cool little tail, that specially designed tail gives it a lot of action, a little kicking action. A little jubilating. It's made out of that uh, Tough Tech 12X TPP. It's really, really hard. You know, you catch several fish on it before you have to get the other one out. Wow, wow, and, wow, um, wow. and it's rigged weighted with that uh, ultra sharp jig hook on there. Yeah. So nice. it's a really nice little shrimp. And everything eats a shrimp, like I said before. Yep. Savagegear.com. Next, we have the uh, Sonar Saltwater Intermediate Slow Sinking Line, fly line for saltwater. Uh, comes with a, a slow, slinky, slow sinking clear head that cuts through the surface and provides an amazing amount of stealth if you're chasing stuff like permit and bonefish or tarpon, you know, in clear, shallow water. It's, it's, it's made to, you know, to disappear in the water, that head. Put your flies just below the surface. It's made for salt water. Uh, it sinks at like 1.2 feet per second, so your your fly will stay, you know, just it's under a the 415 surface. 415 grain. Yeah, they what comes in a two, 12 weight. Yeah, it comes in two, 200 grain all the way up to 400 grain in a seven through 12, you know, six different weights, seven through 12 weight line. Love it. Yeah, man. Now, when your fly line gets dirty. Gets a little gummy. Maybe right. you're start you're, sticking together. Yeah, you're fishing in a place where you got a little nasty water. Mm -hmm. So many times, guys will they'll either put the reel up. It's getting tangled every time they go to make a cast, or they'll throw the whole th line away. Yeah, which you don't need to do. Sa has developed this cleaning pad. Yeah, and you don't need any lubricants, right? Soaps or anything. No, it's it's it keeps your fly lines clean and supple for optimum casting and micro polishing technology. You use that that braid the the hard side, the abrasive side, and you just run it. You know, run your whole line through there. It improves the shootability and flotation. Shootability. For, yeah, for easier casting and pick up and you know picking it up and mending the line. And uh, you know, it, it's just really good stuff. How often would you do it when it starts to feel sticky in your hand? Yeah, and I got you know, you. in the Everglades or in a lot of places where you have tannic water, Dave, which mm -hmm. you have a lot of times in the rivers in Louisiana, or whatever, that's when it gets nasty and gets sticky because you have all that silty stuff floating on the surface, right? And that'll gum up your fly line. Right. Well, you go to scientificanglers.com to get both the line and the pads. That's right. Tell them Ricky Dicky sent you. <laughs> 